two years until the 2024 total solar eclipse. There's still a lot of time but it's never too early to start planning for these exciting events. After all, you don't see a total solar eclipse every day. Well, any sort of eclipse for that matter. Everyone who sees the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, will be mesmerized. But prospective spectators could have some concerns. Where precisely will totality be visible in Mexico and the United States? It's simple to respond to that question. But where are the finest places to watch the event? That solution is more complicated. Since the totality will stay the longest in the eclipse's center, you should locate your business there. What else qualifies as an excellent location to see a total solar eclipse? A village with a population of 10,000 is significantly more likely than a metropolis with a population of 75,000 to experience troubles due to an incident. One of the greatest problems will be traffic. Tiny towns with only one main road can experience hours of gridlock. If you decide to visit such a place, arrive as early as possible, possibly even one or two days before the eclipse. Without any further ado, Let's get right into it. Here are the top 10 places to view the total solar eclipse. Number 1. Mazatlan, Sinaloa, Mexico At 12.07 p.m., the moon's umbra brushes the United Mexican States coastline. Less than 12 miles, 19 kilometers, southeast of Mazatlan, one of the principal locations for tourists witnessing July 11, 1991, total solar eclipse, in Mexican Pacific Daylight Time. It's a safe bet that this city will be a popular destination because it knows how to accommodate a significant number of visitors. Number 2, Nazis, Durango, Mexico The Umbra reaches Nazis around 1.15 p.m. Mexican Central Daylight Time. This 4,000-person hamlet will undoubtedly see an increase in population because it is the closest place to the longest totality. The actual location is roughly 3 miles, 5 kilometers, to the north, just east of Durango Paso Nacional, the road that connects Nazis to San Luis del Cordero, and will be enjoyed by the town itself for that time period. Get there at least a day in advance if you intend to stay for the longest time feasible. Number 3, Piedras Negras, Coahuila, Mexico Piedras Negras is a sizable city located on the other side of the Rio Grande River near Eagle Pass, Texas. If they are from the United States, they will either cross the Eagle Pass Piedras Negras International Bridge or the Camino Real International Bridge in order to witness totality for the whole 4 minutes and 28 seconds. Given that Piedras Negras metro area has a population of 1.5 million people and offers a wealth of amenities for travelers, using it as a base makes sense. Number 4, Radar Base Texas Consider Radar Base which is located right on the border between the United States and Mexico, if you want to see the totality of the eclipse without leaving the United States. By the way, it's not a military base by that name, it's the name of a little community with around 300 people. On eclipse day, that number will increase, so arrive early. Number 5, Kerrville, Texas while many eclipse chasers will undoubtedly base themselves in San Antonio, the majority will not stay there and will instead travel to the center line to experience an additional minute of umbra all darkness. The trail is surrounded by a number of minor towns, the greatest of which is Kerrville, which has about 24,000 residents. Check ahead of time to see if there are any eclipse-related events. Number 6, Lampasas, Texas Many tourists will choose to base themselves in Austin, Texas, the state capital. It's a good idea because that city has a lot to offer, especially in the music and food categories. Tragically, 
it lies close to the southern furthest reaches of the Way of Entirety. Therefore, driving 68 miles, 109 kilometers, north to Lampasas, which is quite close to the center line, would be a good option on Eclipse Day. Number 7, Hillsboro, Texas. Hillsboro is easy to get to, even though it isn't a big city. It is on Interstate 35, where I-35 East and I-35 Watts split south of Dallas. Additionally, it is located directly along the center of totality, maximizing your time under the moon's umbra. Number 8, Sulphur Springs, Texas. Sulphur Springs is yet another fantastic location in the Lone Star State. It lies along Highway 30, so arriving won't be an issue. Despite the city's small size, less than 20,000 people, there are numerous open spaces. One is Coleman Lake and Park, which has trails and waterfalls on 186 acres. Cooper Lake State Park lies 15 miles, 24 kilometers, north. It has a lake that is nearly 20,000 acres in size and more than 2,500 acres of land. It would undoubtedly be relaxing to observe from a boat. Additionally, in comparison to Sulphur Springs, you will only lose two seconds overall. Number 9, Russellville, Arkansas. With close to 30,000 people, Russellville has enough resources to accommodate a moderate number of eclipse visitors. If you want to watch the eclipse outside of the city, you can go to Mount Nebo, a flat mountain that rises 1,350 feet, 410 meters, above the valley below. Number 10, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Cape Girardeau, with 80,000 people living there, will be the largest city in southeastern Missouri to experience totality. It is easy to get to Interstate 55 because it is on the Mississippi River bank. Fans of the eclipse can travel 10 miles, 16 kilometers, west on State Route 72 to Jackson for an additional 4 seconds of totality. Well, that is it for the top 10 places to view the 2024 total solar eclipse. Now it's time for a few tips and tricks to help you view the total solar eclipse the best you can. Book time off well in advance. If you don't work for an astronomy magazine, you might think that two years is a long time to wait. It's important to keep in mind that April 8, 2024, might end up being the most requested vacation day ever. If you haven't already, mark April 8th on your calendar and request a vacation day at the earliest possible time. Keep an eye on the weather. A chaotic system is studied by meteorologists. There is currently no one who can guarantee the weather in a specific location on Eclipse Day. And don't get too caught up in the cloud cover predictions you'll see for that date. Many people don't know the difference between few clouds, which cover one-eighth to two-eighths of the sky, scattered clouds, which cover three-eighths to four-eighths of the sky, and broken clouds which cover 5 eighths to 7 eighths of the sky. Additionally, a lot of the so-called predictive websites make use of satellite data, which picks up a lot more clouds than human observers do. In both instances, you need to investigate further. Go to P. Although you probably didn't need to hear it in this statement could have been phrased more politely. Listen to it. You might find that this tip, more than any other on this list, is the most helpful for you. Don't start looking for a bathroom until 10 minutes before the totality. Then, there is too much going on. Make a 45-minute preemptive strike. Watch out for the moon's shadow. You may be able to see the moon's shadow approaching if your viewing location is at a high elevation or even at the top of a substantial hill. This sighting is difficult because, for instance, 
the shadow is traveling at 1,992 miles per hour, 3,206 kilometers per hour, which is more than 21.2 times faster than the speed of sound as it crosses Indianapolis. The shadow can also be seen by covering any thin cirrus clouds above your location. Once more, you won't believe how quickly the shadow moves. Unfortunately, there are no more tips and tricks for today about the 2024 total solar eclipse. We hope you found this useful and if there is anything you think we missed out or would like us to add please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.